What we're going to do now with this pair of shapes is that the question for this particular one tells you these are parts of prisms. We just don't have the whole thing there. Okay. So how will we complete this? Go ahead and draw it. Okay. Now this is what they provide you and we're going to finish it off. Okay. Now everything that we need to know about prisms comes from our definition, which I've left up on the board here, right? We know it's 3D. So when you see these lines going off in different directions, they correspond to, you know, a length and a width and a height. Okay, so that's what that means. Secondly, the cross sections ought to be uniform. So for instance, can you see how across this way, the edge, it ends, right? This edge ends and then it starts going down. Well, if that's the case, in order to keep it uniform, I have to have a corresponding edge over here. You see that? Otherwise, I'm not going to get uniform cross sections. In the same way, you see how this side on the, um, this edge rather, that's right here on the left hand side, you see how it goes down two units. So that means all of these other edges must also go down two units with it. And then you can pretty much see, I think we have our complete 3D shape here. I just need to connect the rest of the dots. Okay, so you see it? Shh. I just personally, this is just to make things a bit clearer. When I draw a shape like this, when I draw a shape like this, I think it's kind of nice to add in some kind of shading on one or more of the faces because that helps you recognize, hey, this isn't just a flat thing that looks like a hexagon. It actually exists in space. And when you look at it from one side, one side will have a shadow, all that kind of thing. All right, let's have a look at this other one. When you look at the other one, you can see, again, I'm going to look at all of those distances. For instance, can you see this edge here? It goes down too. So therefore, these guys over here, they must go down too as well in order for them to meet the other edges that we have parts of. Does that make sense? And in the same way, from here, you can't just have it coming up here in some random direction. You won't get a prism if you do that. Right? The only way to complete the prism is to make sure you've got the same cross section going all the way. Okay? So that's the first kind of question you'll see. Complete the shape. Um, I will come back to this, so don't worry if you haven't copied it down now. Another kind of question is, using a blank slate, don't worry, I'll come back. Using a blank slate, how might you help use this for, for your help to draw a triangular prism? Okay, so here's the way I'm going to guide you. And you can draw lots of different triangular prisms to me. Um, but let's do the same one together just so we get some consistency. For starters, my advice is start with a cross section. Start with one of these polygons that should be the same all the way. Okay, so for instance, I might draw a base and a height like that. Okay, now just for the first one, can we draw the same one? And then after that, I want you to draw a different one. Okay. Now, because this is isometric dot paper, we're looking at this object from an angle. So even though it doesn't look like it, this angle here, I'm doing that as a right angle. Okay. Can you see? I'm trying to look at that from the edge. Okay, I've got two sides here, and now you might like to use your ruler to join these empty bits up. And if you use the ruler, you should get a nice straight edge. Okay. So here you go. Now what I've got is this is my cross section in the front, right? I should get this same shape over and over again going off into the distance. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick a length. Let's make it say, let's go for six. Okay, so if I go six units into the distance, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can do that a bit straighter. Let's try that again. Okay, so that's gone six. You can even, for yourself, you can count up because that will help us later on when we're doing volume, okay? If I've gone six units along the top edge, because I need a uniform cross section, I'm going to need to go six units along this bottom edge. You see that? Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So now to complete this shape, I'm gonna need to join 
this final edge. Now, just to finish off this shape, one of the things you often see to make things clearer is that there are edges in this prism that we can't see. There are edges we can't see. So when you can't see it, when, a, when an edges are hidden from view, we often draw them in with dotted lines like this. You see those? Okay. Now, quick question for you. How did I know to stop here and not keep on, let me change color, and not keep on going like to there? How did I know? Yeah, Aiden. Because, because, um, because the cross section side on the left. Yeah. Fantastic. So you see how you can count up and I encourage you write these numbers on there so you can see the count and know how far it's supposed to go. If that vertical edge is one, two, three units long, then this vertical edge over here all the way along into the shape should also be three. And then you can complete it over here. There's one edge missing. How long should it be? Look carefully. How long? It should be six, right? Six all the way along here. And now if you've drawn it like I have, you can actually see, yeah, that looks pretty 3D, even though you've actually done it, right? Uh, on a 2D piece of paper. I know, nice. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is, I just, um, I just guided you through these three shapes. Right now, while you've got it in front of you, can you draw another triangular prism for me? But draw it differently. Maybe you don't want it facing this way. Maybe you want it facing that way or facing down. Maybe you want the triangle on the top. Draw a different size triangle. Anything you like. Once you've got one, um, call me over. I'd like to have a look at it and uh, see if we can pick up some of the best. Can I just show you one last thing? Because I want you to finish off all those prisms at home, make some new ones, whatever. Beautiful, well done. Can you just look up for a minute? Because I've seen some people draw some shapes. Some of them in prisons and some haven't. So could you just put your pencil down for a second and look up? And I promise this will be the last thing I show you and then you can just go to town yourself, okay? Look up, look up, I'm looking for more eyes, more eyes. Just waiting still. Pens out of hands, pencils out of hands. Okay, watch. Come back to this original shape. Now we drew this all together, so we know it's a prism, okay? But now you're drawing all kinds of other shapes and you're like, is it a prism? Is it not a prism? Here's a beautiful way you can know whether you've got it right or not, okay? The cross section, see how I've got it in green over here? If it truly has a uniform cross section, I should be able to take the same shape and I should be able to see it all the way through. Does that make sense? Okay, so watch this. If you're careful with your shading, you can make a beautiful diagram, watch. I have um, prepared for myself already a cross section that's the same shape, right? Now, if you've done it right, you should be able to put it anywhere along here, even in here, in here. I should be able to put it all the way along and I ought to have exactly the same cross section. Now I know you can't do it as I know you can't do it as quickly as I can because I can just um. It looks like this little sandwich pocket. I can yeah, it does. That's exactly what it looks like. I can do these really quickly. Okay. I can do this really fast, but you can still do the same thing, and you can know you'll see you'll see the sandwiches. You'll see the cross section line up, and it looks pretty cool like this. So once you think you've got a prism, I want you to show me that it is a prism. Convince me by showing me that uniform cross-section. Okay.